people welcome back to another episode of the wonderful arsenio zsl podcast man so grateful obviously to be back and grateful to have your ear once again today like always is an amazing and amazing and amazing integrated essay uh coaching with one of my amazing students by the name of god amy i am so grateful to be putting this one up because there are so many things we dissect in terms of correlative ideas so that's what I'm going to be naming this, Yellow Cedar Correlative Ideas, because there are lots of things that we actually broke down here. And so, um, you know, Karimi had come had come to me uh, before, um, you know, because, you know, there are a lot of other students who came to me, you know, dental professionals. I'm so grateful because final, finally, after two years, I could finally define my niche market in terms of TOEFL IBT rather than just posting sparing videos on, you know, my Facebook page, which really... It's just full of a bunch of clowns. Not my Facebook page, but other Facebook pages where there are a bunch of time wasters. But nonetheless, Karimi's here, and I'm just discussing so many different things and how to improve her essay writing. So here is one of those breakdowns, baby. So stay tuned, people. Have a seat. Get your pen. Get your paper. And let's dive into this. Okay, so here we go. There are times, uh, let's say, when they go into the third. So the third paragraph, obviously... The uh, the third paragraph, we did the third part of the listening where the lecturer goes against what was yes. stated in the article. You have a tendency of not getting everything that's in the listening. So in the first, it's okay. In the second, it's okay. But the next thing you know, in the third, it's not okay. So why is that? Why do you think that happens? Well, the, the problem was with my notes. I write down something, but it's, I said, what I, <laughs> what I wrote, I even understand what I wrote. Right. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. When we are trying to um, write fast, you miss some information. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And that's yeah. What and, and for me, at the, always at the end, it's like uh, my head is, my brain is tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the always is at the end, but the first probably two paragraph uh, on the listening part, I, I can get it. But at the end of the listening, I always, oh my God, it's like, a, it's hard for me to keep concentrated, something like that. But right. I'm working in that. For that, I'm trying to do more and more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's what I really wanted to do today, especially. I want to... Uh, mm -hmm go through that today uh me and you taking some notes right and okay. so me and you we're gonna look at you know look into a paragraph we're gonna write down a couple of things and then we're gonna take those listening notes and we're gonna compare our notes okay because okay. i think for the most part let we're going uh your your writing is actually okay. pretty good so let's check this out here we go like i said three sentences in the opening paragraph you nailed it let's check it out get out of here fucking flies Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, the reading and the lecture. I know, I'm tripping. You're like, you cussing out a fly. Yeah. It's that no, type of morning. No, you're good, you're good. 5.46 in the morning, got in me, and oh. I'm cussing out flies. What's wrong with me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the reading and the lecture are both about the yellow cedar decline. The author of the reading states, okay, oh, states the that he considers uh -huh. some hypothesis responsible or decline of those trees. Okay, now we could do that, or we could say the author of the reading states that uh is respon responsible for the decline of responsable. trees. Responsable. Yeah, there we go. Respon oh, yeah. Responsable. Red <laughs> so fuck. I Respon can't even think right now. It's too early. <laughs> okay i know i know there we go we're i'm just I, I, again consider some hypothesis uh you know we don't want to make any errors we want to just choose and just have that okay the author of the reading states that this specific thing make it very short three to four words is responsible for the decline of these trees Ta -da, that's it okay okay make it very short concise easy no problem not saying that consider some hypothesis responsible but the thing is, I don't know if a hypothesis can be responsible. And this is why I'm mm. like, okay, I don't want to question that. 
I want to just make oh, sure okay. that very quickly, right? Mm -hmm. In contrast, the author of the lecture demonstrates or oh, the author <laughs> opposes, okay? Oh, you changed the word, okay. Opposes oh, these opposes. or the ideas within the reading passage or in the reading passage, up to you. Okay. Okay, all right, that's it, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. So no big problems, no big problems, feeling very comfortable with what you got here. I'm all right, I'm feeling good about this, feeling real good, okay? okay. All right, all righty, all righty. So, ooh, we could put a microphone too. <gasps> ooh. Okay, so anyways, all right, so here we go. Let's go into the first paragraph. <laughs> Firstly, author states, uh-uh, uh-uh, remember, uh, you know what? Let me just write this in here. Okay, so you can actually see okay, it. Okay, in uh, yellow record and in, in red. Okay. Oh, the yes, the order. Okay. Explaining that the insects, the insects and parasites, those are two both plural countable nouns. Now, are we talking about the insects parasites? Mm -hmm. Do the insects have parasites? Oh. Because if the insects do have parasites, you're going to use an apostrophe yes. like that. Mm, okay okay so just remember that i know it's a little confusing uh, yes it is but yeah if the insects have parasites what you're going to do is you're going to put an apostrophe after it now if you're talking about just parasites alone you could say explaining that the parasites attack attack the yellow cedar or again if you're going to do past tense because this is something that was reported we could use that Oh, oh yes okay because okay. if we use insects and parasites both of them are plural countable nouns therefore we cannot yes. use both of them back to back we're going to have to say the insects apostrophe apostrophe made in their parasites the parasites of the insects attack the yellow cedar leaving okay. a special and then what i'm going to do i'm going to put a gerund here a gerund is this word okay this is a gerund Okay, so what we're going to mm -hmm. do, anytime you use this, this isn't like an action verb, but this is a gerund. So what we're doing, we're splitting up the sentence saying, okay, these insects, uh, insects, parasites attack the yellow cedar, comma, leaving a special kind of larvae, which eat the wood of the tree. Now, if we're going past tense, as we see right here in the ED that I just did, we're going to hurry right. up. We change. Which okay. Eight. Correct. Eight. Oh, that's right. Okay. 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 I got it. Just making mm -hmm. sure we don't make those little small mistakes. Again, these details I'm not worried about whatsoever. Bravo, Karimi, not bad. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so the reading states this. So what I want you to do now, remember 60, 40, 60, 40. Okay. So we got 60% listening, 40% reading. Yeah, it could be 65 35, 70, 30, even 75, 25. I have a tendency of doing that myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm crazy. You're like, what's wrong with you? Okay. So, uh, yeah. I got my energy back, baby. I'm back, baby. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, <laughs> not therefore. Therefore is used as a result. Therefore. Oh, okay. However, right? We're okay, going to use however. however. Okay. Which one? What which uh what you know different word than however because I always say oh, we always read however however similar to that one right 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 so we could write these down okay on the other hand nevertheless nevertheless uh, in okay contrast on the contrary okay uh, that we can call like a connecting contrast. word right. Correcto. That's right. And okay, I know a yeah, lot I have of people, here. they love using Yeah, I it. have however, some here, but it's okay. Yes, but however is the most common. But it's okay because when we are, uh, you know, thinking in time that we have to write something, and I said, okay, we start doing Right. You know, and, using the, and if I could hurry up, one. and if I could hurry up and show you very, very quickly, because I know a lot of people have always asked me, even the trio chiquitas, uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It was so funny. laughs> oh my god they are the funnest i love them oh yeah. my god it's so much so much firepower in those beautiful ladies uh yeah yeah and, th and that's why uh TOEFL writing yeah TOEFL writing independent right hurry up hurry up show me now 
Hurry up. Sorry. Okay. So I be writing. It's just sleeping. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, I, I'm over here just freaking out. I'm like, dude, what are you guys doing? All right, here we go. Contrasting ideas in the lesson. I just want to show you. There you go. Okay. So oh, yeah. Comparison. All right. Nevertheless, okay. however, these are some cool things uh that I have on my course. I'm just going to copy and paste a couple of couple of them in here. Oh, yeah. Similar okay. relationships. Chips. Yeah, we could show it by that, but we're not discussing that. So let me just hurry up and put that right here. Remember, this is on Microsoft Office. You're going to yeah, get, yeah, change the get, colors and then yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you can change okay, it. It's yeah. up to you. I'm gonna be sharing you this. No, link. it's okay. It's so, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Boom. All right. Put that green right there. Put that green right there. So these are some ways that you could show that contrast. Okay. So we don't have to keep saying. Okay. The same thing. Yeah. I confused with the word therefore. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's like a, as a result. Okay. In the lecture. Uh, in the lecture. However, in the lecture. In the lecture or the lecturer stated. Oh yeah, the lecturer. <laughs> The lecturer stated. Now we're using reported speech because we're reporting what they had mm -hmm. stated. Going to get points for this. The lecturer stated mm -hmm. okay. that the author of of the re reading has not has not adequate reasons to support that. But he explains that the yellow cedar. Okay, so what I want to do, I think we're making it a little bit confusing. What we're going to do instead. Mm -hmm is again, you said the lecturer stated that the author of the reading has not adequate. We're not going to state a question that we have in our mind. This is kind of mm -hmm. like, but we already know that the lecturer is against what this person had said. So instead, the lecturer stated that, uh, you know, we're gonna go against what he had said about this special kind of larvae, which ate at the wood and the parasites mm -hmm. that attacked the yellow uh, tree right? The yellow cedar. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do instead, we would write something like this. However, a lecture stated that the yellow cedar tree had been damaged before by insects like beet, like beetle or the beetles? <laughs> the beetles. Uh -huh. the club. Uh, <laughs> by I don't know what type of beetles by, but we're just going to say insects like beetles mm -hmm. due to, oh man, this is hard. Infection due to saturated chemical solutions. Yeah, he talked about some saturated chemical solutions. <laughs> saturated chemical solutions. Like beetles do saturated chemical produce. solutions. Oh my God, this is so confusing. What the hell? Okay, wait. Infection due to saturate chemical solutions produced by them because most of this kind of trees are most resistant to others. What do the saturated chemicals produced by them? By them meaning the trees, right? Or by- uh, No, by the beetle. By the, yeah, the, that thing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of beetle. Uh, the insect. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. And then the most of this kind of trees are most resistant than others. The yeah, that, that he said resistant to what or that, that you know because that kind of trees are more resistant than the other trees. And then he, he can believe that the uh, that you know that um, insects can do that in those trees. Okay, so wait, there are some trees that are resistant to the beetles or the saturated chemicals? Well, but the, the chemicals are produced by the beetles. Ah, Something okay. Something like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Ready to plug into the future? Join myself, Sean Leahy, and me, Andrew Maynard, on Modem Futura, where we explore the technologies shaping our futures. We bring the experts, the insights, and a whole lot of curiosity to every episode of Modem Futura as we boldly go where <laughs> no one else has gone. So join us as we navigate the intersection of innovation and humanity, uncovering the stories that will define our collective futures. Subscribe to Modem Futura wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there. See you then.
Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go back. Damaged before by insects like beetles because these, let's say insects, produce chemicals that cause infection. However, however, again, <laughs> oh, sorry, these in the produce. There we go. However, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. By contrary, okay, there we okay. go. Let's see that by contrary, these yellow cedar trees are resistant. Are resistant, or is it that these trees are resistant to some chemicals, or that other trees are resistant to this specific chemical? Well, I don't know if that specific chemical, but he said that those trees are more resistant than the other trees. Uh, these trees, the yellow cedar? Yes. It's kind of, you know, stronger, I don't know, trees than others. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm just a little bit. This is why I want to, you know, that's what, this is why I'm going to be walking you through an integrated essay. Um, because... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a little bit confused about the details. Uh, like beetles, because these insects produce chemicals that cause infection in those trees. Now, to be honest with you, because I'm just so confused, I would just leave out the whole by contrary. Mm -hmm. I would just leave it out because okay. I would just be too confused to try to put all that together. And then it might just make my essay a little bit worse. You know, and mm -hmm. although, you know, your word, the word count right now is actually pretty good because I think I saw it at 249. If we take out, you know, a little bit of, you know, the by contrary, blah, 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 we're only going to lose about 10 to 15 words, right? Okay. And we dropped to what, 239, 234, no more, no less than 230. So we're good because if I do put that on over here, you sorry, son of a bitch. Okay, sorry. Anyways, okay, anyways, uh, yeah, so. What I want to do, if we use the by contrary, we're going to make the paragraph worse or we're yes, going to make it less, less coherent because you're going to be like, wait, mm -hmm. how does this by contrary and why does it relate to this? Yeah, that's going to be the issue. Yes. That's going to okay. be okay. the issue. So what we're going to do, anytime you have a problem, tip number one is I want you to scale back on, okay. Do these ideas relate to one another or am I just stating something just randomly that it is it going to make much sense to the reader? You're going to have to ask yourself mm. that and say from a from a examiner perspective, although, you know, these examiners, yes. are absolute dog mm -hmm. shit, although Woodstock is probably pretty good. Where are you going to take your test in Atlanta? <laughs> in Marietta. It's very close here, like okay. a 20 okay. so minutes, 25 minutes. Okay, so I'm guessing Marietta, hey, listen, the entire state of Georgia are far better than Florida. Florida's a tub of dog shit. Okay, so anyways, out there in good old Woodstock, and obviously Marietta, I believe that you got to look at those Mariettans and from their standpoint, huh, does this, is this coherent from this idea to this idea? This idea to this idea, I'm going to be showing you another video today. I'm going to drop it in your Dropbox with the Trio Chiquitas about how you can link from one idea to another in terms of your body paragraphs. This will be for the independent essay. All right. You already, you already sent me, uh, send me three, I think three documents from them. I think one is the just audio. Oh, I see. And, and the other ones. Yes. And the other are some um, essays. Okay. All right. I'm going to say, I'll, yes. I'll send you, I'll, I'll make sure I send you the video. My bad. I don't try to send in audios. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's okay. It's but I'll okay. get you those videos because like, that's what I want you to think of. I want you to think from an examiner perspective and say, yeah. all right. Okay. However, the lecture stated that the yellow cedar tree had been damaged before by insects like beetles because these insects produce chemicals that cause infections. Yeah, and again, you know, going mm -hmm. back to the whole larvae in the wood, this and that, this is why we're, I'm going to walk you through the whole reading and listening and like yeah. juxtaposing those ideas uh, because it'll make a hell of a lot more sense, right? Uh, because here, okay. like I'm reading it. Okay, okay. So what, the reason why I get a little confused, I'm like, okay, firsthand, you stated from the reading, 
Insects parasites attack the yellow seed tree, leaving a special kind of larvae which ate at the wood. However, the lecturer explains that the yellow seed tree had to be damaged before the insects like beetle. And I'm like, hold on, before the insects like beetle. And I'm like, okay, beetle, insects, parasites, hold on. Okay, wait. And see, this is why I'm just like, wait, hold on. Insect parasites? Yeah. Larvae. Wait, okay. And then you said the yellow cedar tree was damaged before by insects like beetles. Infection. You see what I mean? Like, it's not, yeah. it's not that, I, I, I don't see the coherence between those two ideas. Yeah, it, because he said that about. is the, the tree uh, is, well, he said that the insects are not uh, responsible for do that. Right. The lecture said that the uh, tree have to be damaged before the insect go into the tree and do whatever they be. If they put the the larvae or if they uh, leave some um, you know chemical solution or whatever they do. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's why. Okay. So that yeah yeah. So going back to the whole me and you. Looking at the mm -hmm. reading, taking the notes, looking at the listening and saying, okay, do you see the correlation? Correlation? No correlation. Yeah. We have listening. Add that in at the bottom. I'm going to walk you through that mm -hmm. process to make sure that we have these ideas coherent because I feel like it's a little bit incoherent. So nonetheless, let's go on to the next paragraph. Let's see what you got here. Okay. So okay. secondly, according to the reading, his hypothesis is that uh, his hypothesis, or let's just say the other reason, okay? The other reason okay. is the presence of brown bears around the area where the yellow cedar trees are which weaken trees. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you see what I'm seeing here? The presence of brown bears, how does that relate to the yellow cedar trees and weaken? So what uh, I'm going to do, well, we're yeah, going to take, uh -huh. it doesn't make sense, right? But I mm -hmm. understand what you said after that. Those two ideas correlate. However, weakened trees, now, are, are you saying that black bears attack these trees when they are weakened? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so the brown bears around the area where the yellow cedar trees are. Are we can then? <laughs> where are the yellow cedar Joy trees? And eat them because of the high, because of the high level of sugar that the trees have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take out weaken. To oh, help. okay. Let's just take out weekend because that added detail, I was like, hold on, you saw how I got missed, stuck, right? Yeah. Okay, we, we missed it, the, the sentence, okay. Right, so tip number two, don't add ideas that might confuse the reader. Because when you said that, I saw the destroy and eat them. That and brown bears, yes. However, mm -hmm. you said brown bears and then you added a detail about the yellow cedar trees being weakened. I'm like, wait, hold on. You see, so make sure yes. you don't add in, you know, irrelevant ideas. Tip number two. All right. Uh, okay. All okay. right. All right. So while the lecture, I did send you that the 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 integrated template, right? No, I just see. Uh, I just watch some videos. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, me... just just your videos, but yeah, I got many information from them. Okay. All right. I'll make sure. My bad. I thought I sent it to you. I am so terrible. All right. Let's go here. Secondly, uh, however, uh, the lecturer, on the other hand, asserts that. Okay. Yeah, I wrote down those. It doesn't. I have it here okay. in my notes. Yeah. Okay. Asserts that, and I'm just gonna get rid of these things. Yeah. Right, yeah. Just making sure. Because again, I keep seeing like a repetitive, like, you know, uh, 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 you, you know, the, the transitions going from reading to listening. It's, to the listening, uh, uh -huh. grammar's a little bit wrong. So that's why I kind of have these, these pre-recorded, you know, 
you know, you know yeah. phrases in my mind. I'm like, okay, I know exactly how I'm going to link this idea to this idea, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. That asserts that, that the bears are not the real point. To, the, the bears are not the real cause of the damage, maybe, are not the real cause of the damage of the yellow sea. Damage of the yellow sea. Some places like islands okay let me just uh like islands there are there are no no brown bears okay and then i'm gonna put there as a result or therefore uh yeah <laughs> the word therefore has to be there karimi <laughs> uh, yeah they it, it, you see they could not <laughs> be responsible for the decline of the trees good does that make sense you see that yes yes Yes, you got it. Okay. They could not be, really? Oh, oh, they could not. Oh, yeah, of course. They could not be responsible, of course. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, oh, make sure, tip number three, always write out the full word. Never contract. The full word. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's academic writing. But good. Body okay. paragraph number two, very, very good. Okay, a lot more coherent. Yeah. But the main thing I want to, you know, just share a really good quick tip is making sure we have those, you know, those pre, uh, those pre things, like in terms of, you know, these things and make connecting. It, yeah. Yeah. The connectors. Cause we don't want to lose points just by on the smallest of things. We want to make sure we lose points if we do, unfortunately, and make sure you don't, but we want to make sure we lose points mm -hmm. on the bigger things like the thing. Oh, I get it. Okay. You know, not the small. Yeah. Things. Make sure we get those points in the small things. Good. Okay. Huh. All right. Finally, the author posits in the reading that the climate had played. We're going to have to use past perfect. Okay. Okay. Had played, has played, uh, has, yeah. Okay. Had played and got to make sure an important. But whatever. An important role in this yellow seeded tree decline for change because of the, okay, because of the, okay. Changes. That's another really good phrase that you could use in your writing to connect ideas. Because of the changes. Okay. Well, why? Because of the changes in temperature. Okay. Yeah. Let me do that again. And whatever. Ah, there we go. Where's my strike through? No, you guys don't have a strike through for me. I hate you. All right, whatever. Because the changes in temperature affecting the root system of the trees. Okay, so always put an S on the second word of a, uh, of a what is it? Comment? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, yeah. No problem. No uh -huh. problem. Just little details, little details. For example, when the roots are frozen due to low temperatures, very good. It results in damage, it's undermining it's the tree it's and it's killing it. Very good. Not bad. All right. So phrase because of the Lincoln ideas had played past perfect. Now, past perfect. Okay. I would like you to write reported verbs, reported speech and past tense. We're speaking about this in a reported and past tense way. One, it's going to score you a lot of points. Two, if we use only present simple, you're not going to score. Your grammar is going to be much lower. Instead of getting the criteria, mm -hmm. which could be like a three and a half to four, you know, you end up mm -hmm. getting maybe a two and a half because you use very simple language. Keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Okay, good. then always use past uh, present. Exactly. If, okay, right. if we can. but If, if you can, past always. simple, past perfect, Passive po uh, voice, reported speech. The author stated, now, obviously, the author posits, you know, we could say mm -hmm. that, whatever. Uh, the lecturer, on the other hand, asserts, yeah, you see that these are present simple verbs, okay? Uh, uh -huh. Present simple verb, but nonetheless, we're using a variety of different tenses, right? Having the yes. conditionals, very good, yeah. Okay. So what we can do, instead of saying explains, you could say explained. ED, right? This gives you a uh, oh in the in the past. Exactly. 
Good. So that, oh, I, it's I just going to give okay. you more points. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm saying that it could give you a little bit more points, right? Okay. Okay. Ooh. That there is no reason to state that because the cedar root is sent. Okay, because the cedar root sensitive have been affected by temperature and low, uh, which is warm climate. If we compare, okay, so this is a little confusing. Okay, let's re let's read this whole thing out. Because the okay. cedar root sensitive have been affected by temperature and low elevation, which is warm climate. If we compare with how many trees have not been damaged by high elevation and cold weather. So what you're saying here is the cedar roots are sensitive to hot or cold? Well, it, the, the lecture, well, he explained that the, um, the this, you know, the roots of the tree are more sensitive in warm weather because it's uh, in low elevation. Okay, okay, all right, so here we go. Because cedar roots are sensitive to warm weather, correct? Yes. Not cold weather, therefore, mm -hmm they could not have been affected by temperature and lower elevations. High elevations, like or, low, yeah, cold weather. Low, low, so the cold weather is at low elevation, right? No, high elevation. The, oh, I'm sorry. High elevation is cold weather. OK, yeah. right, right, right. That makes sense. <laughs> they could not have been affected by temperatures and the uh, higher elevations because yeah because you it, know what i oh. repeat two times my listening part <laughs> why, why, why you say that because in that part what confused me uh, for that i listened in two times because i said low temperature cold weather how do i i said oh my god i confused i don't know what i said because in my notes i have a song but you know what totally confused me. I see. I see. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. If you again repeat it, you know, rep it. I you know. See? Right. Right. It's a, that, I that's know a, that this I couldn't. <laughs> right. Oh my God. When's your test? I know. I, anyway. I love it. I love it. I love seeing when you will go enjoy <laughs> the beach, the sun, and all about it. I will crazy with the test. I love it. I it's so crazy. funny. I love it. Anytime I say it and yet your face, I know I don't say that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, si se puede, okay, Caribe, si se I know, puede. si se puede, si se puede. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So I just wanted to show you, because cedar roots are sensitive to warm weather, not cold weather. Now, okay. I start that right over here, okay? Yeah. Right over here. This is where I start that nice little paragraph, okay? Okay. Okay. So there is no reason to state that. Obviously, I would just say, in contrast, the lecturer stance is that because cedar roots are sensitive to warm weather, not cold weather, they could not have been affected by temperatures and higher elevations Elevation. because it is colder up there at, in, in compared <laughs> to lower elevations. Right. Elevations. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you could write. Okay. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. What do, you think? what do you think? Not bad, right? 